with the holidays coming up, it's always good to consider that you're going to be going over the river and through the woods to grandmother's. So you want to make sure that you can do it safely. So I thought maybe I'd throw together some real quick tips for everybody out on the roads. And some of them are ones that you may not necessarily think of. Like our first one here is something that you think, oh, well, that's it's a, it's a convenience. It's a yep. safety feature maybe, but not so necessarily. Not so in this case. Yeah, if you're in any type of bad weather, heavy rains, take that cruise control off. It gives you a lot more uh, control of your speed. You're able to slow down by releasing the gas pedal. Uh, as opposed to if you're on cruise control, you're just going at a constant speed. Doesn't hurt to learn to make sure you're safely accelerating and decelerating. And keep plenty of room when you do that too. Exactly. Got to watch for the following distances. In fact, they ask that you increase the distances by 8 to 10 seconds from what you normally would. And when you do finally come to a stop, there are places where you don't really uh, want to do that. <laughs> exactly. If you're climbing a hill, it's always best to complete the climb in a slow, controlled manner rather than stopping, if at all possible. Now I realize there is times where we may have to stop. Sure. Just be understanding that if you stop on a hill, there's a good chance you're not going to get going again. Uh, here in Nebraska, we often have incidents of ice and black ice and such as that. So if you happen to go into a skid, we want you to make sure release the gas pedal so there's no uh, gas being applied and steer into the skid because eventually you will gain traction and once you gain traction that's you don't want to be overcorrected and all of a sudden you're going the opposite direction and of course last but not least uh, you need to know where you're going if you can't see just don't go exactly when it comes to snow and you're in a whiteout situation well obviously it's unsafe to continue driving so if you can, safely get off the road and park and wait for conditions to improve. Well, if you don't know, necessarily need to use those tips right now, it's only a matter of time because, like you said, we are in Nebraska, so you're not going to make it too long without no. having to. Who knows? Wait five minutes. It seems to change, doesn't it? Maybe even by the time we're done shooting this. Oh, my. I hope not. Me hope too. Not. <laughs> well, if we're not uh, snowed in, we'll see you again next week with some more tips. That's the plan.